Hi, I'm Josh Galetta. My friends call me Bump, and I live in Lakeland, Florida, and I am collaborating with Visit Central Florida to bring you a free digital drawing lesson. Today, we're gonna to do a really famous and fun landmark here in Central Florida. No art skills or talents needed, just get your art supplies together, and let's go draw. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna be drawing Bach Tower. It is an amazing tower. It's so old and but it's the most beautiful place most beautiful garden and so what i'm gonna do here is i'm making a grid this is how i do most of my buildings to get started when i do a lot of my landmark and house portraits it's kind of also like how i do my faces and as you can see the bach tower is a big rectangle structure has a lot of columns and has really cool uh stained glass windows and arches and so i just want to make sure i have everything in place right here is where all the tree branches and trees are going to go and i'm doing a simplified version because I'm not going to teach you how to do palm trees today. Right here I'm just showing how I'll come back later and do the leaves and in here doing like little ripples for water. But this is usually how I do my pencil placement before I start the actual drawing itself. So kind of we're just kind of setting it up before we add the ink and make all the details. And then we're just adding a little horizon, possibly where clouds will go. It's kind of like we're painting a map of what we're going to draw. And we're going to do this all in pencil just to get ourselves warmed up. Again, it's not a race. Take your time. Just get it all prepped and ready to go. And then get ready to bring out the ink pens and start inking over your pencil. I'm just doing this in a gray marker brush pen so you can get the idea. And here we go, I got my lightly drawn pencil sketch of Bach Tower. And I'm just gonna go down the line smooth and slow. And if you see how I stop the pen, I go back and go back over it. That helps from leaving little blotches and smear marks. It helps you to kind of make the line look consecutive and endless. We're doing like the little top of Bach Tower, you have the really cool sculptures. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of detail. There's these really cool, I don't know if they're, they're a gate or opening, but it's a really cool carved out piece at the top. And then they have these massive stained glass windows, which we're not gonna do the details of those today. That's uh, more for an experience class, but we'll at least make the shape and opening for where the windows go. Add a little depth by putting the arch above it. And if you see, again, there's a lot of straight lines, squares and circles and ovals and triangles like I talk about in my other videos just drawing some smooth lines where the columns are and there's a few like indentions in the Bach Tower but it's a really beautiful place we want to capture it and we're gonna do it in like in a very minimalist way right here but again just taking our time going over the pencil we drew and just making up for all the little details we wanted to add so like the doors and the windows and the balconies and the fun little guardrail that has there at the top there's a big opening door at the bottom with the, the levels and the stairs a lot of straight lines but you can see it coming together and just going over the pencil nice and slow and smooth. Now, the tree branches and the leaves. These are my fun little squiggly lines. These are some you can practice, do them all different shapes. You can do oval, circle, half circle, but just enough to know there's trees. Now, if you looked at the real picture of this, you'll notice there's a lot more different types of flora and fauna in there, bigger palm trees, bigger bushes, but today we're just gonna keep them all kind of similar. There's these amazing photos people take of the view, looking at a distance, and you see the pond, and the little uh, koi fish, and things like that. And so I've always loved that shot of Bach Tower. But again, just take your time adding all the little leaves and uh, branches. It kind of adds a little dimension and depth, a little bit of level and perspective to the drawing. And just going back over the pencil and adding all the fun little squiggles. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and what you turn out with your drawing. But we're just adding more depth, more layers and layers and layers. Have fun, make sure everything doesn't look the same. We had a bunch of little fun little perspectives on layers with your trees and branches and your bushes. Go outside, take pictures, look how your plants look and just practice drawing those. And here we are doing the big fun pond out front. Just adding little ripples and waves. You can add birds or fish if you like, if you feel uh, the, the braveness to go that far. And now just for some final little bit of details to be added. Again, this is just over top of our pencil we did a little bit earlier. And it helps to do that so you don't try to do a masterpiece in the first try. It helps you get everything set up and layered and figured out. So we are just adding the last bit of leaves. And then we're going to do the horizon in the background. Some trees back there, some farmland. It's very flat out there. And my favorite, clouds. Lots and lots of floating clouds. You can do all different types. I just I play around. You can Google clouds. You can go outside and look at clouds. But I like doing poofy fun clouds here. And we'll add some birds. Perfect. And there we are, John, a famous landmark of Bach Tower.